So thank you everyone for being here. Um, the reason why we pulled this together is that we have gotten word from some of our partners that the governor is planning on doing a sweep of uh, this major encampment behind us. Uh, we have come together as partners to work on a decommissioning process to be able to rehouse the individuals that you see behind us, to be able to work together as a community to help them get connected to services the proper way. Um, with me today, I have Ms. Martha Cagle from Unity of Greater New Orleans, and I also have Ms. Donna Paramore from Travelers Aid of Greater New Orleans, Greater, excuse me, Travelers Aid Society of Greater New Orleans. And what we have done in the past couple of months has helped a lot of individuals who are currently on the street. Through the encampment decommissioning process, we have helped house 167 individuals. But it doesn't just stop there. With Unity and Travelers Aid and other organizations, another couple of hundred individuals, the number exactly is 594 in their process. So we have done amazing work in the processes that we have put in place. We are asking the governor to not move forward with the sweeping of this encampment and other encampments throughout Greater New Orleans. We're asking them to work with us and be a part of the partnership and not extend to be a part of the problem. Sweeping individuals will allow those individuals to get lost in the process of housing. What we want to do is connect them to services and make sure that they get the fair treatment that they are deserving of. These individuals, the most vulnerable population, we do not want them lost in this process. Every single person standing beside me and behind me have worked day and night to get to a point where we have gotten this encampment down from the numbers that it used to be. And we want to continue that process with the rest of the locations throughout New Orleans. We cannot do that if we're sweeping encampments and moving the individuals from those locations. We want to keep them safe. We want this to be a fair and honest process, but we need partnership from our state partners. We don't need to force these individuals to move along. I understand that Taylor Swift is coming into town and we want to move this encampment by Thursday of this week, but that's not realistic. And it's not fair to the individuals who live and work and, and are a part of this location. It's not right and we don't want to see it happen. So we have a couple of suggestions. If we want to move forward in this process, what we ask you to do is do something the right way. Maybe you can help us with an alternative sheltering process where these individuals can come up the street while we continue to work on them in housing. But what we are asking you not to do is to push them along. That has happened over and over again and these individuals have still not gotten into housing because that process does not work. And we are asking not just the state but local authorities to not do so in this process. We understand that this is one of the locations but also the French Quarter is a part of that as well. We want to work with these uh, unhoused persons to get them into housing. The difference between them and you is they have no place to live. That's it. If they had the stuff that you have, they would not be on the street. There is not one person who woke up this morning and said, I want to go out and be homeless today. It never happens. But these individuals, because of circumstances, have been pushed into this situation and have been asking day in, day out for assistance. And here we are trying to make sure that these individuals get the help they need. And what we have been met with is we're not moving fast enough for the Super Bowl, when the reality is we're not moving fast enough for the Taylor Swift concert. We're not moving fast enough for the authorities that be, for the unhoused individuals who have been here for years and years trying to get assistance. Unity of Greater New Orleans has been doing an amazing job to uh, connect these individuals to services. Travelers Aid has been doing case management and outreach going above and beyond day and night to get these individuals connected to services. And my office has supported them in this process. But right now, they are not getting supported. Right now, they are getting told what's going to happen and to deal with it. We are asking all of the persons who are watching this to please reach out to the governor's office and ask them to stop this process. We are asking everybody who is a constituent to understand that if this encampment and other encampments are broken up, these individuals will be in your community. And instead of that happening and you sending us a million emails about the one-off and person here and there, how about we just house them from where they are? How about we do something the right way so persons can get the assistance that they actually need? Let's try to do something as a community the right way so that these persons will no longer face trauma that has been given and, and given to them day in and day out. 
Let's be a community for once on the homelessness front. I will stop because I have two other persons with me and I want to pass it along to Ms. Martha Cagle for Unity of Greater New Orleans.